Time minute. now for this hour's car, or shall we say truck review. Is Mr. It Mars's Mars, turn? it's Mars's turn this time. Is I'm that not two gonna... words or one? <laughs> it is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Chevy Silverado half ton. 2023 Chevrolet half ton, Silverado 1500 with the LT Trail Boss four wheel drive badging on it. Now, I, and I say that because we had this discussion a little bit earlier before the show. In doing the research on this vehicle, I've got the Monroney here. It is an LT1 Trail Boss. All four wheel drive. However, if you go out to the press area and you start digging around, there's actually a trail boss, one word, versus a trail space boss, two words. And I, I don't understand why Chevrolet is using the two different terms. I could not figure that out, but we're going to get a hold of somebody and see if we can Let's get, get an answer. Who, who is that somebody going to be? Somebody with Chevrolet with their. Uh, but do you know their name? Not yet. I don't know anybody at General Motors. Well, we're going to dig. We're going to know Conrad. He used to be General Motors. Yeah, he used to be. Yeah, so did you. So anyway, yeah. we're gonna let me. Let, we're gonna go with this. So this is the LT Trail Boss four wheel drive, uh, and I'm gonna say it comes in a couple of different uh, trim levels based on the engine choice. And an interesting note I found out at the GM Authority website, which is a different. It's not General Motors per se, but there there have reports there are constraints on the production of this pickup. Wow. And and they're trying to figure out why this pickup and uh, there's another Chevrolet that's under constraint. So it's kind of a weird deal. So we need to figure out a lot of stuff on this. But this, best I could tell, kind of fits in between an LT1 and an LTZ. It's not quite as much of an off-road vehicle as you were talking about the Bison ZR2, but it's still an off-road vehicle. Full-size pickup, seats five. Uh, got a 22 major update, so it's got some trim up levels on it, uh, or trim upgrades on it for this year. And up front, you're going to find LED lighting with uh, the reflector type headlights, fog lights are LED, tail lights, running lights, and even the cargo bed lights are all LEDs. Uh, wow. It's got the off road high clearance sidestep, so you get a little more there. It comes with a two inch factory lift with a Z71 suspension package. It's got the corner rear bumper steps on it, and it does have the easy lift multi-use tailgate that I'm learning to uh, like a whole lot. We were rolling on some 18-inch gloss black painted aluminum wheels. Um, and what I could see, we had the hard cover tonneau cover, you know, that you flip up into three pieces. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I, I'm, I'm just going to whine about this a little bit, so I dropped the tailgate. And I want to fold it back to put some stuff in there. And I'm looking for the release. And you showed a, me that. Yeah, there's an emergency release over here, but there's no release. You pull so, the emergency. So you it and it looks just like the one in the trunk of a car. If you're stuck in there, you pull the emergency release, it opens it. It's the Jimmy Hoffa release. Yeah, I guess. But why would yeah. you need that in the bed of the truck? Why not just have a release? But anyway, well, just, in case you, you don't know, and it's, it just signals Hoffa. you that you're if you're locked in there, like you say, it signals you that's it. Right. Well, if I get locked in the bed of the truck, there's a reason for that. Yes. So um, Becky did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the inside, we uh, we wanted to note that um, we had the front bucket seats with the console. Now that's standard, but over in the options on this vehicle, it lists the bucket seats with a console option for six hundred twenty dollars. Hmm. Now these seats are heated, uh, and uh, it's got the thirteen four. Point four inch touchscreen. That's where you're gonna find all your convenience controls, your air conditioning, your nav, everything like that. And it's got a twelve point three inch digital driver screen on it. So the driver's got plenty of information on it. And um, one thing I did want to note in regard to the multiflex tailgate, obviously that's a four hundred forty five dollar option, as Don mentioned earlier. However, we happen to have a credit because we were not equipped with a steering column lock, so we got a fifty dollar credit on our vehicle. What? So, uh, up, up under the hood to make all this go, we had the 3.0 liter Duramax diesel, 305 horsepower, 495 pound-feet of torque. What would you think of that? I really liked it, even with the stop-start feature on it. I, I was surprised. The only time I could really tell it was a diesel was the initial startup first thing in the morning. After that, it didn't even didn't even register that I was driving a diesel. I was so well, quiet. It, it's interesting when you look at the incentives that they're offering. You know the cashback incentives. All of the cashback incentives are built around the four cylinder turbo, not the Duramax and not the V8. Well, again, that's the move to EVs and everything else. So, uh, 
The EPA says you should be looking for 21 miles to the gallon city. Highway 23 combined 22. I happened to get 15.5 across 458.4 miles. So I drove it a lot. Again, didn't sound like a diesel, but I really like driving that per se. And again, it fits underneath trim level wise. What Dom was driving is a much more off-road type vehicle, in my opinion. Uh, you win. So this is kind of like a, a CUV. It, it just seemed to ride and drive better than what I would expect uh, a full-blown off-road vehicle like yours to. Could you turn off the stop start? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we were looking at uh, $56,300 for the base trim. The price as tested on this vehicle was $64,780. Excuse me, $64,780. And again, you're looking at Ford, Toyota, and Ram for comparable type vehicles, depending on how you want to trim them out, how they're going to fill in the price. But I was pretty impressed with this vehicle, other than a few nuances that I got to talk to Chevrolet about one of these days. Well, maybe you'll get a chance at I'm the car working, show. I'm going to do that. There you go. The Enwheel Time Car Talk Show is available 24-7 through the iHeartRadio app. Just look for Enwheel Time Car Talk. We also video stream on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts available at your favorite at your fingertips uh, over a dozen of the most popular podcast outlets. The Enwell Time Car Talk Show continues right after this quick break. Stay with us. <laughs> 